Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about a brand new screw on the market. It's made by Fasten Master. It's called the MVP. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? So the reason I'm excited about this screw, it's structural. What that means is it's meant and designed to withhold to a higher level of construction. It won't snap like a standard carbon screw will, it'll hold up in seismic events. And that's why we're gonna switch over and start using all the MVP line for all of our construction fastener needs. Another thing I like about it is the color. I think the black is a really complimentary color when you're using it, regardless if it's framing or some form of attachment purpose, this looks nice when it's installed. But let's go over some of the benefits and the aspects of this screw. So first thing, and probably the most important, one of the most important, is it's got a T25 head. Any T25 bit will drive this screw. I love star drive type T screw bit, Torx, T-O-R-X bits. They grab better, they strip less. It just makes our construction process go smoother, easier, and less effort when you're not stripping out screws. They will not snap. The reason these are rated structural is because I don't know how many of you know how a screw is made, but it's usually ran through some form of machine with a certain size and gauge of wire, and then it's stamped or pressed or heated or tempered. There's different ways to make the screw, but this particular screw has several different features to it. If you notice, the very tip of it has a fine thread that's very sharp. Those sharp, fine threads help drive the screw into the material better. Then you have your standard thread, which grabs the wood and drives it deeper. Then you have a reverse thread after that that helps clear the pathway for the head. Then there's a little bit of a blank area. And then the actual head on the bottom side of the head has a bunch of cutters that help flush the top of the screw. Usually when I'm framing, I'm subsetting everything. I, it's very rare that I'm trying to make this exactly flush. But if you wanted a nice finished look, this is not a bad option if you wanted uh, something with a decent sized head that's gonna pull down on something, on a piece of material, let's say for example, a top cap on a hand railing. This in my opinion is not a bad look. And it has some good pulling power to hold the top cap down. But if you're not careful, you can easily drive these way too deep. So I'm gonna use the MVP mostly for framing. I have a couple pieces of two by four that we can screw together. Now these come in different lengths. Uh, Fast and Master sent me these three inch version because that's what they have a lot of. But you can see once I flush this, it's basically almost all the way through both boards. So if you don't want these to poke through a double two by, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a two and a half inch screw. But my favorite length for framing is actually three and a half. We go through tons and tons and tons of three and a half inch screws. They're gonna be sending me some three and a halves. They come prepackaged in different sizes. There's boxes of a hundred. They have bulk buckets. I usually buy everything in bulk because I get a better price and I'm eventually gonna use them all and then I'll just get another bulk just so I can save a few bucks. The coating, it's a protect life coating, superior corrosion protection. So for those uh, different types of treated lumbers that you're going through, it's gonna withstand and hold up. It's just like a coating similar to their timber lock fasteners. And I've pulled timber locks out of 10 year old pressure treated lumber without any corrosion. So I'm confident that these are gonna last you a long time as well. It's also a number 10 diameter head. Let's drop a couple into this two by four and see how they look. We're not gonna pre-drill the holes. We're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna set a couple of two by fours up, take a screw and drive it. Okay, there's flush. They bite pretty good. There's a little below flush and you, I can feel it right here. You can see the tip of that screw is just getting ready to pop out of the bottom of the board. And that's what I was getting at earlier. If you're gonna be doubling up a two by four, you might consider using a half inch less length so you can actually drive them in. Depends on how deep you wanna go 
into the material. So this flush one didn't poke out, but you know it's almost about to. And then this one, you're uh, probably into the material a good eighth inch, about an eighth of an inch, and it's starting to poke through. But just for giggles, let's drive one real deep. But I'm not gonna drill it to my table. Okay, I, I, I drove that as deep as I could until I hit the end of my impact driver and it went in just fine. I don't know about pulling that out. I'm gonna have to unhook my... Wow, look at that. I was actually able to pull that screw. Now, when you start abusing fasteners, you can see that the head heated up and it did take off some of the finish. So that might be a consideration and this screw is kind of warm. Um, you can also see running it it's discolored a little bit, so something to think about. I don't know if I would reuse that screw. I would probably use a new one. But what are the odds you're actually going to drive something that deep into something? Usually when I'm driving screws, even if it's on an angle, let's say we're going to toe screw something to a beam or something like that. Okay, obviously that's not going to go anywhere because I have no threads to grab to. But if this was a beam or another joist or something like that, then it would just keep wanting to go. So let's do this. Let's go a little higher. And you can see that time, not a whole lot of finish came off the product. There. That's about the depth I would go. I mean, that's plenty deep. I like to subset all my, like when I'm, when I'm, if I'm using a nail gun or a framing screw, whatever, I like to put my screws a little deep into the material. I don't like them sitting proud. So I guess what I'm getting at is sometimes you'll see fasteners like this. My preference is not to leave them sticking out like this. I like to go in a little bit and make sure that that screw is all the way into the product. But the whole concept, the whole concept of this screw, like I said before, that it's structural, it's rated structurally. It is designed to hold and not snap. So in a seismic event, like an earthquake or expansion and contraction, I guarantee you, if you use an inferior product, an inferior screw, even from heating, thermal, expansion and contraction, carbon screws snap. I see it all the time. Even stainless steel can snap. Even though stainless has more flexibility, so it won't snap as easily, it still can snap. So you gotta use the properly rated fastener for your project. This makes it so that Instead of, if I, if I feel like running a bunch of these, instead of using a nail gun, that I can be assured that this particular screw will not snap and it'll stay flexible, similar to like a galvanized hot dip galvanized nail. And it's not gonna break when we have seismic motion, thermal contraction and expansion and that kind of thing. So that's why I'm gonna probably take all of our guard dog stuff, which I like their guard dogs, but they're not structural. These MVP screws are. These are our new win for our, our job site. Plus they look nicer and I think they're gonna look really sweet installed. Like if you come up on a frame and then you see something like this versus some gold colored screw or something like that, I'm, I'm always attracted to this more. So in my opinion, that's gonna be a, a double win for me. Not only does it look good, it's structural. All right guys. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these screws. And uh, share this video around with your friends and family and anybody that you know. And we really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming to our channel and watching this video. Have a great day.